Allah be unto the Lord our God, who is continuously drawing men unto himself through his Son Jesus Christ. Another year of missions is here. It is a glorious year for the Church of Pentecost, even as the Church observes Makion Missions Week. It is a journey which traces to how God through the Church of Pentecost is aggressively pursuing lost souls. These lost souls have been won largely through the evangelistic activities of missionaries and other agents using the Possessing the Nation's Agenda strategy. The theme? A glorious year to possess the nations. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, praise the Lord. We want to give praise to the Almighty God once again. The mother of all weeks is here with us again. Missions Week because it is the bedrock of the activities we do in the church. It is about snatching souls from hell. As you know, our theme for the year is a glorious church to possess the nations. We can't build glorious churches without our presence being felt in the communities. Praise the Lord. You are very welcome, brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers, to this year's Makion Missions Week. On behalf of the chairman of the church and the chairman of the missions board, Apostle Eric Kwabnanyamiche, and the executive council and the entire missions board, we welcome you to this year's Makion Missions Week. We want to firstly thank the Almighty God for what He has done for us. He has granted us space in 105 nations. To His great name be glory. But we couldn't have achieved all this without your support. This documentary demonstrates some glorious activities and projects embarked upon by the Church of Pentecost as part of missionary work. Here, evangelism and social ministry were used as tools for spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ to all nations. Possessing the nations, we are agents of transformation. And by the grace of God, we have possessed the nations over the years until we are now in about 105 countries around the world. And this year, the theme is a glorious church to possess the nations. We are indeed possessing the nations. And because we are possessing the nations, we are still preaching the gospel. And God is using the power of the gospel to reach out to people, delivering them from the power of darkness into his marvelous light. And you will in this video see testimonies of people who have been translated from the power of the enemy and having been brought into the power of the kingdom of God, set free and they are rejoicing all the way to heaven. Hallelujah. As we are preaching the gospel, we are also possessing the nations by getting involved in the community. We are getting involved in the community by being sensitive to the plight of the people all over the place. We identify the needs of people and by the grace of God and with your help, with your offerings, we are providing the needs of the people like giving them potable water through the drilling of boreholes for the people in the uh, very deprived nations, towns, uh, and villages. We are also providing means of transportation like motorbikes, bicycles. There are places that are inaccessible uh, by vehicles. So we have to provide them with bicycles and motorcycles and tricycles and all those things. And we are doing that. There are also places beyond the river, as we say. These are overbank places and by the grace of God we are also providing boats and other means of transportation that can carry them from one end of the village to the other so they can go about their normal duties not just our members who are going to preach the gospel but also for the community to be able to commute from one place to the other going about their normal economic and other social activities. We are also putting up church buildings and mission houses and other social amenities that are uh, in response to the needs of the local 
community. In the day, you know, you were CNC Central. We are at CNC Central. We are in the area of a glorious church. Thus, we are undertaking projects in the various areas and districts like Weaga, Fumbisi, and several others to help this vision. As always, keep supporting us with your prayers and offering. There are a lot of souls here to be won. Within three years, through the missions, offerings, and by the grace of God, we have completed the church building and fixed all electrical works. All works have been completed with sealing, electrical, except tiles and paintings. Help from the missions offerings has also been extended to other locals in the district like Pampaye and Kichibi. On this note, we entreat you to keep supporting the missions work. Also, in terms of offering, continue to massively support us so we could continue to build a glorious church to glorify our God. We are at Langbisi where Elder Prince Amua and wife of Kumasi single-handedly built the church behind me. The church has a children's auditorium, offices, washrooms and a big auditorium. After putting up the structure, the elder also finished it with chairs and instruments. Afterwards, he also helped build mud buildings for other locals and districts. This has helped their services as most used to have services under trees and most do not have places of worship. Within three years of being posted here, God has been gracious to us through the help of missions. In just a year, we commissioned 23 completed church buildings. We want to use this medium to immensely thank the church and its leadership for their support. These kind gestures has made the mission's work attractive to new ministers. Currently, our main challenge here is this big church building we are putting up. We are hoping to receive more support from the mission's office to complete the work. Kintampo area no area part of Kintampo is part of Ghana's internal missions, which started with 13 districts. By the grace of God, we have added more districts to the area. Thanks to the good works of the pastors and their wives, many districts have been supported with tricycles. This one you see will be donated to one of the districts in the area at our upcoming meeting. Continue to support the mission's work. Behind me is the Gemma Inquanta Assembly. God, richly bless you for your continuous support for the district. Behind me is the new mission house that is being built for the church. The former mission house had leaking roofs so bad that one couldn't stay there during the raining season. But now, due to the mission's grant, we are able to renovate the building. We have also acquired places for our pastors with space available for those who want to stay when moving to other towns. Now when visitors come to the area, there is space available for them to rest. Apart from what we are doing in the internal mission areas in Ghana, we are also doing similar things in the external nations and also putting up uh, church buildings, and mission houses uh, because this year our theme is on the glorious church we are trying to put up very good places of worship there are people who will be attracted just by the buildings that they see and so in places like uganda uh, we are trying to put up national uh, headquarters with, with, with big auditorium for people for the church to to meet and have their offices and other things. We are, places like Madagascar, we are doing the same. Places like DR Congo, Democratic Republic of Congo, we are doing the same thing. In Gabon, we have put up a very 
uh, imposing uh, edifice, something that gives glory to God. In Equatorial Guinea, we, we, a very nice uh, place of worship and a mission house and all that. These are the things that we are doing by God's grace and by your help and by your offerings. And we want to continue to do that. Uh, we've sent missionaries for the first time to places like Cyprus and Turkey. We sent missionaries to, to Hong Kong. We sent missionaries for the first time to the Kingdom of Bahrain. We've sent missionaries, you know, all over uh, the place, to Chile uh, and other places. And so this is what we are doing. And you know, the cost that comes with sending missionaries and their families to places to settle and work amongst the people, preaching the gospel, trying to help them with their economic and social conditions, for them to improve uh, as only the gospel can, can do. In this particular year, some of the nations that we want to reach out to are uh, nations like Singapore, um, nations like uh, uh, South Sudan, uh, nations like uh, New Zealand. There are even nations that we, we have targeted but we do not want to make mention of now. We want to, by the grace of God, enter and do all the groundwork and even start the work before we make them public. The Lord God Almighty has been faithful to his people and his church, the Church of Pentecost. Here are some testimonies from some individuals confirming the glory and faithfulness of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is Wega Centra. This is where we used to worship. The inhabitants here consider this place as an idol just because of how this tree grew from the rocks. Many were those who thought the church would be destroyed by the idol, however, by the grace of God, not only has the church grown in numbers here, but we have been able to put up our own church building. Thanks to the support from head office and the missions office, we no more meet under this tree but in our own church building. For the past three years, I was worshipping adults. This was due to a lot of problems that were facing my family. My family was being attacked by sicknesses and other things that were not good for me. So a friend of mine decided to take me to a fittest priest. For almost a year, there was no improvement. Every month, I have to spend almost 700 Ghana cities to buy animals, to buy fowls for the sacrifice. And this continued for one and a half years. So one day, my wife came to Pentecost Church. And from there, he told me that he has seen the presence of God in Pentecost Church. So one day, they were having all night. So my wife asked me to accompany her to all night. So when I got there, I became very excited. I danced and when I went home, I realized that this church was supposed to be my church. So from there, I realized that my life has started changing. All the sickness that were affecting my family is gone. I have, I'm now enjoying my life. The money I used to give to the man in the past, I have saved a lot. Even when I was there, I contested as an assembly man. And the man told me I was going to win. He did a lot of sacrifice for me, but at the end, I lost the elections. But now, I am an honorable assembled man for Busongo. Not only did the Lord bless his church by touching the lives of the individuals in it, 
but through the church, communities and nations have been touched. A number of social services were provided by the church to bring relief to a number of communities and inhabitants who needed them. We are so much amazed by what the Church of Pentecost has done. This bus stop provided by the church serves as a resting place for myself and most visitors and passengers heading for Kintampo. We are very grateful to the church. Scarcity of water is our greatest problem in this area. The Church of Pentecost came to our aid by providing us with a borehole and we are so thankful to the church. Before the borehole, we had to travel long distances just to fetch water. We are so thankful to the church. The time we were not, not having this borehole, we are having so many challenges. Even our animals to get water to drink is always difficult for us here. So I agree to the Church of Pentecost. What they did is very, we are very appreciative. I am not a Church of Pentecost member, but for this water, I will now attend the church. I had to travel for long hours just to fetch water. This gesture by the church has helped us a lot, especially those of us in Chuchuluga. I am on the compound of the Church of Pentecost Mission House at Kukumba Line, Mimpemihuasem. Before the church provided us with this water source, we had to struggle and go through hard times just to get water. We are so grateful to the church leadership for supporting us with this facility. We have found ourselves here only for the purpose of water. We are facing a challenge of scarcity of water on our campus. And the water that the church has provided in this area mission house has been a good source of water for us. This boat has a capacity of about 80 to 90 people. Before we had this boat, evangelism activities were difficult to execute in the district. Having this boat has helped the district in so many ways, from carrying sick people to the hospital, conveying church members to church, and attending social functions like funerals. Pentecost for Barakrumhano. The presence of the Church of Pentecost has promoted development in the town of Tatu. It was difficult to even come across a modern building in the town. But with the presence of the church, we can now boast of modern buildings one, which is the church's mission house which sits at the entrance of the town. This boat was donated to the district by leadership two years ago, and it has been helpful. Before the boat, we had to hire boats or sometimes use individual smaller boats. It was expensive and time-consuming using the commercial boats. I would like to thank uh, Church of Pentecost for providing us with uh, this structure where we use as our worship place. Actually, as prison officers, we need spiritual fortification. When we are there, we disturb the work at the canteen. People come to buy or, or drinks or food. And uh, because we are there, they can come. And we have to leave the place before activities go on. So once they have given us this, the place will be free for them. And actually, too, when we want to have the bus, we don't have any place to do that. And we will be using the, this place also for that purpose. Though it is not all that big, we will be managing it for a meantime. And we hope the church, at its own time, will come forward again to help us expand the place. Brethren in the Lord, in order for the church to attain the glory God expects her to attain and to remain relevant in society in order to possess the nations, we must continue to support our missionaries and other growing nations who need the necessary grounding to produce the kind of successes others are achieving. Our monies, our prayers, and the encouragement are very essential in supporting the Great Commission. Over the years, you have supported us so well. You have given to push this mission's front forward. We want to thank you very much. But you know, there are still lots of land yet to be covered. 
So we have come your way again this year 2020 as we attempt to build a glorious church. We still want to plant more churches in the other lands where we don't have presence. The vision 2023 um, does not just want us to have a presence in a nation, but that the presence will be felt in the nation. We are possessing nations. So we are not just interested in planting churches. We want to possess the nations. So we have decided that now we will plant churches in more strategic places. And what that means is that we want to move into the cities, especially in, in Africa, and so that our effect will be far reaching. And so we want to come more into the cities, into the big towns, and in strategic places. They're trying to do that will call for money. We can't build glorious churches without our presence being felt in the communities. Therefore, it calls for money, resources. So this morning, I'm here to invite you to partner the church, donate and support us so that we're able to put up nice structures in the various communities, we'll be able to drill boreholes, support the communities. The Vision 2023 also have Pensa International. These Pensa International are young graduates uh, who have finished school and now working. All over the globe, we want to mobilize such people who will partner with the missions office. They are going to break new grounds in nations where the Church of Pentecost is not established. And the missions office will have to support them. That also calls for money. I've said before that uh, when I was a missionary, uh, one time I was in a, in a very tight situation. Uh, my wife and I had gone on track and in a, in a very difficult conditions, we received a call from somebody here in Ghana wishing us well, telling us that he's thinking about us and praying uh, for us. And we were so excited that God can remember us by using uh, somebody all the way in Ghana to call us and, and telling us that they appreciate what we are doing. Uh, it, it, it's a very big moral booster for us and for the missionaries. And so please let us call them, let us pray for them, let us pray against the phenomena of, of terrorism, diseases, coronavirus, Ebola, SARS, and all those kind of things uh, that can attack a, a nation and a people, uh, including places where our missionaries are uh, and other people are, so that God can intervene. It is only God that can, that can intervene in such situations. And so, my brothers and sisters, my daddies and mummies, we have come to you once again. Let us make this year's uh, Macuan Missions offering another glorious opportunity for God to use us to bless the work of missions so that we can continue to go out there and preach the gospel and deliver people from a certain level of condition, of social and economic condition, into a, a glorious uh, condition where they will be happy and say that once I was blind, but now I see in Jesus' name. Amen. To possess the nations, we must snatch the lost souls from perishing by evangelizing to them, touching their social lives and affecting every sphere of society. Continue to give bountifully to support missions. Your prayers and encouragement for missionaries must never cease. A glorious year to possess the nations we must attain and it starts with your contribution. Possessing the nations, I am an agent of transformation. We are praying that you be able to understand us again just as you have been doing all these years. And this time around, we want you to give big. You will never be able to outgive God. He says whatever you give, He will press it down. He will shake it together and then cause it to overflow. So give big and He will also give in return to you. The Lord Jesus said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. So give and let Him bless you. We know that you are going to do that. We know that you love God. You love the Church of Pentecost. And you want to save souls from hell. Do it this time around too. And you will never be the same again. God bless you. And we love you all.